Why now? The doctors want to put me in... Deep in the outer space headquarters of the Medikids. That? It looks like a science fiction donut maker. And I will not be made into a donut. Skindy, you better start talking fast. Because I'm two seconds away from skipping out on my CT scan today and implementing Plan B. Relax, Megan. There's nothing to worry about. We're going to explain everything to you. Abacus, tell her to relax. Human, known as Megan. Reduced your breathing cycle to slow your heartbeat and to create a calmer state. I will not let a robot tell me what to do. So if I want to freak out, I will freak out. Okay, I'll make a deal with you. Let me explain everything first, and then if you still want to freak out, I won't stop you. <sighs> Fine deal. You don't mind having your picture taken, do you? Not at all. My selfie game is strong. Well, all a CT scan does is take very detailed pictures of the inside of your body. It lets you see inside places like your bones, brain, tummy, and chest. Note, CT stands for Computed Tomography. It is also sometimes called a CAT scan. But why do I need a CT scan? If you've been feeling unwell or have a pain, your doctors might suggest having a CT scan to find out what the problem is. Once they know the problem, they can start fixing it. Okay, so how does the donut maker work? The scanner works by sending a beam of x-rays through your body and onto electronic film. Some of the x-rays pass through your body and some are absorbed. Look, harder parts of your body, like your bones, absorb more x-rays and show up white when there's little or nothing to stop the x-rays, like lungs. It shows up as black. Softer parts of your body, like your brain, muscles, and skin, absorb less of the x-rays and show up as shades of gray. Traditional x-ray machines can only take one picture at a time. What's cool about CT scanners is that they rotate around your body and take hundreds of pictures from lots of different angles. That is cool! So the camera can get all my good sides and probably sides I've never seen! Note, these individual pictures are sent to a computer that puts them together to make 2D and 3D images of the inside of your body. Yeah, and then a radiologist looks at the images and talks to your doctor to see what's going on inside of you, and if there are any problems. That's pretty awesome, actually. Now, to make those pictures really stand out, you might be given a contrast, also called dye, right before your CT scan. I'm all about standing out. Contrast lets parts of your body be seen in extra detail, and it is given as a drink or an injection. If you need to have contrast or medicine, to make you sleepy, you might need to have an injection. This can hurt a bit, but the pain doesn't last for long. Okay, listen up because this is important. The scans can take a few seconds to sometimes minutes, but to make sure the pictures are really clear, you need to stay still while you're having your CT scan. Some kids find this difficult and... Megan? Over here! And I think I just found a kid who can't stay still. What? I wanted a closer look. Uh-huh. Well, if you find it hard to stay still, you might be given a medicine that makes you feel relaxed and sleepy, called a sedative. Sometimes, you might be put to sleep with a general anesthetic by doctors with special training for this. Note, if you're going to have medicine to make you feel sleepy, you might need to skip breakfast that morning. Okay, real talk time. Is a CT safe? And will it hurt? Great questions with great answers. CT scans are safe. You might have heard that x-rays are dangerous, but CT scans use low-dose x-rays. Another great thing about CT scans, they don't hurt at all. The scanner doesn't even touch you. Uh-oh, that's my alarm. I'm supposed to be at the hospital now for my CT scan. I'm going to be late. <sighs> There's no such thing as late when you've got a teleporter. Back on Earth at the hospital. On the day of your CT scan, you will go to an officer hospital and meet your radiographer, also known as radiologic technologist. So, Megan, meet Mr. Jim. Um, hi. <laughs> Teleporting teens? My horoscope was right. Note, your radiographer is the person who does your scan. You know, Skindy, we have a front door. Eh, doors are boring. Hi, Megan. It's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Come on, I'll take you to the scanner. Usually you can wear your own clothes, but sometimes you might need to wear a hospital gown. 
but you do have to remove anything with metal in it because metal can make the pictures blurry. This may include earrings, zippers, hair clips, necklaces, rings, watches, and belts depending on where the CT scan is looking. So, you'll lie down here. If you need help staying still, we have some supports or cushions to help. A parent or caregiver can stay in the room with you. They will just have to wear a special protective, like lead, apron to stop any stray x-rays going into their body. I'll hang with you today. Note, if you need contrast, you will have it usually right before the scan. Abacus is right, but we won't be using contrast today. Okay, time to get started. Hey, where's Mr. Jim going? Oh, don't worry. The radiographer goes to the room next door to do the scan. They'll keep talking to you on a speaker and looking through the big window, checking that you're okay. Looks like this is it. Anything else I need to know? Well, the CT scanner will make some machine noises, but don't worry. The noises mean that the machine is working. Once it's all over, you usually go home and the radiologist will send a report to your doctor who will tell you the results ASAP. Remember, if you've had medicine to make you sleepy, you will have to stay in the hospital for a few hours until you feel awake again. So, how are you feeling? Still want to freak out? I have decided to not freak out and am canceling plan B. Now that I understand CT scans, I know they're not scary at all. That's the spirit. Megan, can you hear me? And are you ready to begin? Let's do this. Ten minutes later. Wow, that was even easier than I thought. So glad I didn't freak out and implement Plan B. I told you it was no big deal. Hey, what was Plan B? Well, first I was going to escape through the air vents to a waiting helicopter that I would take to the beach, where I would train dolphins to carry me across the ocean to start a new life. Plan B was intense. Never freak out without a plan. That's my motto.